Hi everyone, welcome to Pawpaw's Workshop. Today we're going to take it up a notch with using the laser. In the first video, I did a real simple little project for my little gauge that I need to use every single time when I set up the laser to get the z-axis correct. But today what I wanted to do is step it up a notch and this is the second project that I did. So, let's get started. Let me show you how I did it. For this project, I'm using the center point as the center of the wood. I've got my little cross hairs there in the center and the laser light is pointing directly at the center point. The next thing that I want to do is take my little gauge that I made and set the z-axis to 1 8 inch above the work surface that's going to be engraved. I'm moving this down at 0 0.01 inch at a time and I want the gauge to be able to just barely touch the surface. And then I'm ready to start the engraving. I used multiple layers in the Lightburn software to create this. These line drawing that I'm doing right now, the engraving, was all one layer. And you can see the two stars where they were filled. That was a second layer. Now this was a test just to see how the layers would work and interact with the whole project. Now I want everybody to understand that this is strictly a test. This is not the most effective use of the uh, method to be able to do the engraving. But I wanted to test the layers and learn how to do the layers and manipulate them in the Lightburn software. This was the third layer that I created on this project where it did the word sergeant with the, both the fill and with the line. And I did a separate layer for the St. Tammany Parish and then a fourth layer for the sheriff's office. And I learned an awful lot doing it this way. Again, this is by no means the most efficient way, but this is a learning exercise. So this is the first part of the sign completed. Then I came back to the second project with the St. Tammany Parish and the sheriff's office. And here you can see in the Lightburn software all of the different layers that I had set up, and they're all color-coded. And then over you can see on the screen the different colors. Then I came back, still using the same project, and did those other layers to be able to see how it worked. Now, I carved the St. Tammany Parish and the Sheriff's Office as literally separate projects. This time, I wanted to step it up a notch, and I combined all of the different layers into one. And I was gonna carve the exact same project again, so I went through the setup to set it, the machine up to be ready to carve. And again, this will have two layers. This time, one layer will be the line drawing for the center detail, and everything else was combined together to do the fill. Once I was completely happy with having this lined up directly into the center, I went ahead and started the engraving. The first part that was engraved was the very center of the sign, and this was the line drawing only, picking up all of the very fine detail of the eagle and the three little babies that were part of the eagles in the nest. I wanted to give you a close-up of how this process was working, and this is moving at 80 inches per minute going through to do this fine detail. And I was very, very pleased with the detail that it did capture. Moving to the second phase, we moved into that second layer. This is all done with the fill feature of everything that I had combined from the first one. And again, if you look really close, you can see very fine detail, very crisp, sharp lines. And that's what I wanted to be able to have with this project. I wanted to be able to read the union the justice, the confidence. I wanted to be able to see the very fine detail in this eagle as well as the whole sign. So I'm very, very pleased and excited at how this turned out as compared to when I did the same exact sign with the CNC machine and the router bits. 
Now once this sign is completely finished with the engraving, I'm going to close out the Lightburn software and open up the easel to be able to cut it out. Now I opened up easel and this is the workpiece that I had used before when I did this sign and did everything on the CNC machine. So this is what I want to be able to cut. The only thing that I'm doing now is I closed out the Lightburn software, opened up easel, brought it up to this workpiece, and now I'm going to set up the uh, CNC machine to cut this out. I'm using the glue and tape method to be able to hold down the project to my auxiliary waste board. This is the Starbond thin glue that I use for this. I've moved the eighth inch bit right over to the center point. So at this point I'm going to go ahead and start the car, do my Z probe, and cut this out. Anytime that I have a project where I'm cutting all the way through, I use the glue and tape method. That way I don't have to worry about the tabs and having to sand those tabs off. In addition to that, I also like using the auxiliary waste board because I really don't want to damage the waste board that's on the CNC machine. All that will be necessary is a little bit of light sanding with this finishes and it's wonderful to be able to use the easel software in conjunction with the light burn to be able to do a project. Hi everyone, thank you for watching my video today. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified on the different videos that I upload. Also check out the videos over here to be able to stay up to date on the happenings in my shop. So again, thank you for watching my videos.